Welcome to what is hopefully going to be my successful kitchen mini makeover. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably know that Dan and I recently bought an old house. So we bought it because we love the house. It has so much character, lots of charm. Um, and for the most part, with the fix-ups that we are doing around here, we're just looking to kind of enhance the natural character of the home and everything that was already here. One area, however, that we don't feel has a ton of like redeeming qualities that we want to preserve is this kitchen. So it's not original to the house. Um, you can tell when you're outside the house that there used to be a door like actually right here into the kitchen. Um, so I don't think that any of this was here when the house was originally built. So our intention is to take out this kitchen entirely and move it to the room that's kind of just behind us over there and make a larger kitchen dining room space out of two rooms um, just opposite to the kitchen here. And then we'll turn this into something else, either like a mudroom um, or a second living room. So that's our long-term plan, um, but we're really eager to move into the house. So I hadn't had a ton of time to work on the design for our future kitchen, um, and we really don't want to rush that. So since we want to move in, we're just looking to do kind of a cheap and cheerful refresh in this space and see what we can do with not a lot of money and not a lot of time um, just to kind of make this feel fresh and clean for when we move in. So I'm going to get started by just giving a little clean to this space, removing the hardware on this, um, and I'll kind of take you along for the whole process. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so here is the space as we are starting. The walls are currently wallpapered. Um, the trim is white, which is great because that's the color that I wanted the trim. I'll probably do a refresh paint coat, but nothing too major. Um, we'll be keeping the appliances for now, and then the cupboards definitely need a paint job and swapping out the handles. And those two things are what I think will make the biggest difference in the space. And then the backsplash, something needs to happen there. Still a little undecided what, but I have a bit of a fun idea. Now it is time to go get some supplies. All right, I got back from picking up supplies. I went and got paint for the cupboards as well as like some of the small rollers and changed into my work clothes. And then I did something that I immediately regretted, but I don't really think there was a way around it. I swear to take down the wallpaper. I feel like I just turned what I was hoping would be a two or three day project into like a two week project, maybe. Um, but I don't really know what I could have done otherwise. I guess wallpapered. But I know that long term, when we take rip out the kitchen completely, I'm going to want this room to be painted instead of wallpapered. So it would just be a problem that I'm putting off. Anyway, wish me luck. I'm removing wallpaper now. Okay, so as with everything in an older house, the prep took a little bit of time. Um, I removed all the wallpaper, um, caulked the trim, and filled a few plaster cracks. There weren't too many. Thankfully, they were all like pretty superficial, so it didn't take too, too long. Now, I can get to the fun part, and that is painting, and I think it's going to make such a big difference. It's always like my favorite inexpensive fix. Since this is a temporary makeover, I did not want to get into installing a new backsplash, so I opted to paint the current kind of laminate sheet that was there um, white and do something fun. And then now here I am getting started on the walls. I was kind of on a roll with the trim, so I decided to just go for it and paint the walls white while I was at it. I think I might be crazy, but I might attempt to also paint the ceiling. So it's this like really ugly acoustic tile that was a pretty much like every elementary school in the 90s. Um, I feel like I'll probably regret it because it won't go on well, but I do think it'll be better than the color right now. So I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> so spoiler alert, I gave up immediately because it was frustrating. And my dad came over the next day and did it because he thought it was important. All right, so all the trim has been painted white and it's just so much more fresh feeling in here, which is amazing and just what I was going for. So now 
we're going to do the biggest thing and that is painting these cupboards. So I wanted this room to have like some richness and darkness as well, not just all white. Um, so I'll be adding some uh, art on the walls as well as bringing in a couple of like bar court sort of pieces of furniture. Uh, but the color I'm painting these is going to be a really dark green. So I really hope I like it. I've never really worked with a green before, um, but I saw a photo of a dark green kitchen it kind of had a similar rustic feel. I didn't feel like it would be too much of a stretch for this room, um, and it really inspired me. So I went and I chose green. It's called Forest Wood by Sherwin Williams, and I'm hoping it looks good. dry overnight and this is how it's looking. There's a couple of areas where I need to do touch-ups but in general I'm super happy with like the darkness and richness of the color. And then these are the knobs I'm using. So these are um, pulls for the drawers and then I bought a bag of these like brass with some sort of like stone. Um, I bought a big bag of them earlier this year and put them on the vanity upstairs. So I have a ton left, so I'm gonna use those. So the drawer pulls looked amazing, and now I am going to get started on the backsplash, which is these decals that I have here. They come from Urban Walls, and I'm going to use those on the backsplash that I painted um, just to give it like a little bit more fun character. Because this is a temporary kitchen, and I just wanna have fun with it and make it as cute and charming as it can possibly be. So first things first, I had to lay out all of them, which you can see here. And this was kind of the general layout that I was going to have for all of the, um, the tangerines on our backsplash. Okay, and then the next step was putting them on. I was a little bit nervous, but honestly, this could not have been easier to do. And I was just so impressed with the quality of them. I'll leave the audio on so that you can hear my legitimate reaction when I pulled off the first one. I was just so excited with how good they looked, and I'm definitely going to be using Urban Walls decals for more projects in the future of this house. Oh my god, it's so cool! Oh, it's so cute! Oh my gosh, it looks so good! break from what I was working on which was the backsplash um, because I have Dan with me today and so while I have the little bit of extra muscle power I wanted to go pick up what we are using as our island so it's kind of funny but this is it's called a bake table um, and it's what we actually had in my family house as our island growing up I remember not like it when I was a kid, but now I think it's really cool. Isn't that always the way it goes? Um, so we just went out to my parents, picked it up, and we're going to carry it in and see how it fits. Okay, so here's the bake table in our space. It's literally the perfect fit. Um, it's a little bit low, so we are going to add some casters to the bottom and also take off the original top here um, and uh, replace it with a clean new piece of butcher block just so that we feel comfortable cooking and using it to cut food. Okay, so I didn't film it, but Dan and I went and picked up a new piece of butcher block from the hardware store and here we are just measuring it so that we can perfectly center it on the table. Uh, and then we will screw it on and we'll be pretty close to having our brand new little island.
okay the new top plus the casters which make it so easy to move around and also give it that added height have made this like the perfect top so the next thing while I had Dan again I had him help me cut a piece of MDF so that I could cover over a detail that I really hated above our window I couldn't remove it but covering it was a good option the next thing I had Dan do was help change out the light fixture um, when we were doing this we popped up one of those tiles and we were able to see why there was a drop ceiling um, it is quite the mess under there so it will definitely be a big project for another day it was finally time to bring in the rest of the furniture for the room so we started with Dan's coffee cart and outfitted that with all of his coffee making supplies and then we hung some art I use command strips because our walls are plaster and the artwork was lightweight and they just make the job so easy. The final thing I brought in was a carpet which was great to just warm up the space. And then finally we cleaned the whole room and especially this sink of months of construction mess and it was so nice when it was done. And with that we have our completed mini kitchen makeover. We're super happy with how this room turned out with really not too much time and not a whole lot of budget. It just feels so much more cheery, welcoming, and clean, which was our exact goal with this little makeover. Thank you so much for watching our first video, and I'm excited to get started on the next room.